So in this problem, we're told that at noon, ship A is 140 kilometers west of ship B. Ship A is sailing east at 30 kilometers per hour, and ship B is sailing north at 15 kilometers per hour. And we're asked, how fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? So in order to understand this problem, I'm first going to draw a diagram so we can just like understand what's going on. So let's just say this dot represents ship A. And then we know that ship B is 140 kilometers west of ship A. So in this direction, it's going to be 140 kilometers away. So if this is going to be ship B, this is 140 kilometers distance. We're also told, though, that ship A is sailing east at 30 kilometers per hour. So if this direction is west, then that means it's traveling this way at 30 kilometers per hour. And then we're told that ship B is sailing north, so up upwards, at 15 kilometers per hour. Then it's asking us how fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m. So this is the state of the ships at um, 12. So it's going to be four hours later is when they're asking us for. So we got to apply these uh, the way it's traveling within four, or with a number of four hours. So if this thing's traveling 30 kilometers to the to the east, right? For four hours, the distance between the sh two ships are going to change, and so 30 times 4 is 120. So it travels 120 in this direction. So that means the distance between the two are going to be 140 minus 120, which is 20. So this is going to be a new diagram of the ships. It's going to be the distance between the two are going to be um, only 20 kilometers. But then ship B is also traveling um, north, right? So it travels 15 kilometers per hour for four hours, so it's going to be 60 kilometers now, 60 kilometers up. So this is going to be B, this is ship B, and this is basically ship A. So it's going to be 60 kilometers now. And so the distance between the ships is going to be this line right here. And so that's basically what we're going to try and find, the rate at which this is changing at this moment. So let's just lay out a few more things. So this ship is traveling in this direction still at 30 kilometers per hour. But the thing is that you have to realize is that since it's going in this direction, and this one's going in this direction, right? So when it goes up, the distance of this is decre or increasing. But because it's this one is going this way, the dis it makes it the distance between them decrease, right? Or it makes it, yeah, it makes it decrease. So this is going to have to be negative 30 kilometers per hour. But this one is going to be positive, so this one's only going to be 15 kilometers per hour, the way it's traveling. So if we write it like that. Now what we need to do is just find this, this the length of this side. But how do we go about and do that? Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find the hypotenuse or the length of this. And with the Pythagorean theorem is basically a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So if we just say this length is a, and this length is b, then this will be c. So a is going to be 20, so 20 squared plus b squared, which is 60, so 60 squared, is equal to c squared. And so when we go ahead and do that, we can solve for c. So um, this is going to be 400. This is going to be 60 times 60. For 60 squared, it's just 3,600. And that's going to equal to c squared. And then if we want to get c by itself, we can square root. So c is going to be equal to the square root of 400 plus 3,600. And that's going to be 4,000. So let me erase all this. And so our new angle for C is going to be uh, square root of 4,000. So now we've got all the lengths and um, the directions that these two are traveling and the speed at which. But we need to find the rate at which this is changing. That's the one thing we don't know. That's what they're asking us for. And so I'm going to call this DC DT, the rate of change of this side right here. Uh, of this like distance between the two, and this one's going to be, since this is angle, uh, this is B, I'm going to call it the rate of change of DB, so DB DT, and then this is going to be DA DT, this right here. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, and we differentiate it, we can get DC DT and then just solve for it. So start with this formula, and then we're going to differentiate. So if we differentiate A squared, we're differentiating with respect to T, so we're going to have to use the chain rule. So derivative of a squared is going to be 2a, but then we got to differentiate the inside with respect to t, so it's going to be dA dt multiplied by dA dt. And then we're going to do the same thing for b, so b 
squared is going to be 2b times db dt. And then we do it for c. So derivative of c squared is 2c, or equals 2c times dc dt. And the thing you may notice here is that we have 2s on every single one. So we can basically just like divide by 2 and get rid of all those. So all we have is a times da dt plus b times db dt is equal to c times dc dt. And we have all these numbers. So we can solve for dc dt, which is the rate of change um, between the distance of the ships. So what is a? Well, a is this number right here, 20 kilometers. So we say this is 20, and we multiply it by the rate of change of a, the rate at which this length is changing. And we know that's minus 30. So minus 30, then we plus b, and b is going to be this length right here, 60, times db dt. So the rate at which this is changing, which is 15, is equal to c, and we know what c is. It's the square root of 4,000. It's the length of our hypotenuse. So square root of 4,000 uh, times dc dt. I couldn't really fit it, but I'm just trying my best right there. So dc dt. And then we can just solve for dc dt. So 20 times minus 30 is going to be minus 600. And then we add that to 60 times 15, which is going to be 900. And this is going to equal the square root of 4,000 times dc dt. And so all we got to do is just divide by the square root of 4,000 for both sides, and then that'll give us dc dt. So minus 600 plus 900 is going to be 300. And then we divide by 4,000, so the square root of 4,000. And that's going to equal dc dt, or the rate of which the distance is changing between the ships at 4 p.m. So our answer is going to be 300 divided by the square root of 4,000 kilometers per hour.